Tell me more of your adopted human sibling. No, oh, well, Chara and I were best friends. To be honest though, I think I just said that because they were my only friend. For some reason. I would keep a distance if I were you. He's got fleas. Ugh, gross. Lacking a playmate, huh? Why not Jerry? Is it true that you have fleas? Can I see? I love my mom! Not like there were a lot of options. Jara and I were a pretty good duo, though. We get into all sorts of mischief together. Oh, shoot! That was Mom's favorite vase! She's gonna obliterate us! Do not panic. I am thinking. I have a plan. You write on the wall with Mother's lipstick and distract them, while I pick up the pieces and fix it. They always had good escape plans. Sorta. Kinda suck for me. Always getting in trouble. Taking the blame like I was some... Sort of. Scapegoat! Oh, that's clever! And you didn't object to Chara's plans? Coffee, tea, cocoa? Coco, please. And I did, but I'd end up being called a crybaby. Didn't like that. You had trouble standing up for yourself? Even in wake of Chara's desires to wipe out a human village? At the time, I didn't know. They worded it differently. I don't want to be nosy, but... Don't you get worried sometimes? Worried of what? Your family. You know, your human family. You are my family. I do not need any humans. Humans do not know love. Or compassion. Or joy. They lost that when they created the barrier and banished your kind. Yeah, I bet if we monsters could reach the surface, we could teach them. Maybe finally make peace. I have a plan. Apparently buttercups are a bad way to go. Okay. Remember the plan. As soon as I see it, take the soul, pass the barrier... Pass the barrier? Change the world! So far, so good. Sweet cheese sticks! What is that horrible pain? Calm down. It is the sun. Uh, okay. So, how does the rest of the plan go? We will go to my village, where we shall place my body by the golden flowers. Show the humans the godlike power we can achieve when monsters and man unite in harmony. And kill them all. I'm sorry, what? Why did you say all like that? We only need six souls. That is true. However, have, have, I have a very high respect for monsters. Is that a monster? Okay, but- A monster! And humans, they are violent and ruthless. Chara, why not give a demonstration of our power? How would that help? Escape. It's got a kid. That child's dead. By attracting attention and making a statement. It's killed a kid. I don't know what you're doing with the body of a child, but you'd best back away before anyone else gets hurt. This is exactly what I was saying. Always quick to attack. I can sense your intentions, Chara. Don't fight him. We must show them what a monster can really do, my brother. You said we were going to show them love. Love comes from respect. And respect comes from fear. No. And we will show them why we should be feared. No. No. Stop right there. What are you doing? I'm putting in my say. Asriel, give me back control. No! I call shotgun. You cannot call shotgun on a body. Well, I did. Brother, this is not a game. If we do not act now, we could... 
I can't think of a worse time to finally grow a pair. You have been shot. Give me control so I may retaliate. No. Asriel, you are dying. You can level this town with a snap of the fingers, yet you are dying. I won't fight. They are a disease, Asriel! I can feel your hate, Chara. Your hate for them. It resonates from your soul. Why is it still moving? You shouldn't be near something you despise so much. Don't let it get away. Jeez, why won't it go down? You're going back to your real home. Where you were loved and cared for. To rest. It's better here. Don't you think, Shara? You. You. You idiot. Those last words refused to leave me. Hmm. How do you think that event affected you in later times? I don't know. It must have messed me up a bit. Just a little, though. Being a soulless flower probably amplified it. I mean, I think that's the worst part. I can't blame it all on Chara. I was too frickin' spineless to say it was a bad idea sooner. I helped them go through with it. They might have adopted that killer-be-killed mentality, but I acted on it. The time loops, the betrayal, the destruction. Heck, projecting that attitude onto someone who actually knows how to love. That's on me. That's on me. I acted out of fear that day at the village. When I first reset. Now some cosmic stars align or whatever. It's giving me another chance at life. Maybe to fix things. Be the prince of this world's future. Or just another opportunity to ruin everything. And that scares me. I don't deserve this. Mr. Dreamer. While your situation is unique, your emotional state is actually very common. You've been linking your self-worth to the expectations of others. And in the event of not meeting such expectations, you consider yourself inadequate, or even weak or worthless. Because of this, you blame yourself for the events and traumas long ago. You're stronger than you allow yourself to believe. You overpowered a human soul to avoid conflict. You shattered the barrier and freed monster kind. You escaped death itself. And you came here for help. Those don't look like weaknesses to me. You don't value yourself through faults, but strengths. If what you claim is true, you must have spent centuries reliving the past. You need to break free of that self-doubt holding you there. Trust in those who love you. They'll remind you of your worth and help you carry forward. That way you'll never be weak and you'll never be alone. Stay determined. I don't know how you manage to be so chill all the time. You find no reason to be unhappy. Oh, come on, Frisk. There's no way you're in a perpetual state of nirvana. Don't you have any past issues or dark secrets? None that can be recalled. 